Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Last time we completed the ice place. Palace? Ice Palace? Let's call it the Ice Palace. We did that last time, and that was the first one you guys had voted for. So excited. Second place, which, reminder, you can still vote on the forum right now to go choose the dungeons that I am yet to go to. So with that said, um, the next one that we're going to, which between this recording and the previous edged out the last place, by, or edged out the tie by one vote. So the next place we're going is Turtle Rock. Well, gotta get your attention, I guess. And Turtle Rock we are. Now, here in Turtle Rock, we're going to want to be equipping that ice rod. And anything else we especially feel like. I think I use bombs a bunch in here. There we go. So we use the ice rod on the lava pillars to turn them into things that we can move around, so that's cool. Turtle Rock is a little... lava-y. With the powered up ice rod, we can make four of those platforms, which, though it makes for a lot better coverage, it is a little bit harder to hit a very specific spot with them. Now this is an interesting place here because you got all these guys up top. They're actually breathing fire down at you so they can still hit you. You can ice rod them, but it takes so many hits that it's honestly not even worth it. Just chuck a couple bombs at them. Makes the chest appear though, we cannot get to that chest yet. There's also a locked door on this side, so we can't do anything. And for anybody who hadn't yet noticed, this dungeon is shaped like a turtle. Now these actually teeter-totter back and forth, so you want to freeze it so you can get up top. Now these guys... Well, I guess I'm going to want to do it the old-fashioned way. Those guys, you want to kill all of them in the room. You get prizes for it. He's coming back eventually. Eventually. Okay, there's a switch up there, so we can't quite do anything there yet. Let's check out what's in some of these rooms. Hey, these guys are back! And there's not a lot we can do about them right now. Also, not a lot we can do in that room right now. Most of this stuff is going to involve us getting up top. Same thing here. Aren't you the one I hit with that bomb? Well, in the meantime, uh, yeah, teeter-totter. Wee, wee. Oh, we can, uh, freeze this pillar here so we can get over to the center. Make way for adventure from there. Oh, um, fun skip you can do here real quick just to save a couple seconds. You see that key up there? You can actually get to it pretty easily by, um, just running up here and then just going along the wall to get over there. But, um, interesting skip is that you can run up here and hookshot it. Okay, now back to what we were doing, freezing that. So we can walk across. Okay, you got a lot of these switches up here. I forget what hitting these even does. Makes a chest appear. I don't think it has anything valuable in it. 
A compass? Compass is valuable. Compass is nice. Yep, saw you coming. There's still more of those guys left alive. Where's the other? Oh, he's down there. Ah, I can't hit him from here. There should only be one left. But hey, now that we're up here, we're technically up top. So we can go up top and get prizes. Was there anything over where that key was? The key is actually higher than that. Wait a second, get a little bit of stamina back. I gotta get back to that platform. Okay, where am I going? Um, I actually need to go on here. Because we saw this thing from before that I can hit. Opens up a much-needed doorway. Now, I kind of want to kill... Kind of want to kill this guy. You can sword beam him if you've got full life. Should have done that while I was over here in the first place. Now, I'm actually going to take this top route here because I actually do want... Well, not that way. That's a dead end. But all of these rooms, for the most part, are skippable. Fun things in them. Nice things. Not a lot to worry about. Portals uh, take you back and forth, so that will take you back where I came from. This is an interesting room because... If you look at the mini-map, I'm hoping I remember to show you guys the mini-map, um, it shows that there's an exit here. What this room does, if you go out it, is it actually takes you outside of the dungeon onto two of the little platforms. There's nothing to do other than be out there. I think there's a couple fairies outside of this one. The other one is actually far more important. Yay! Well, that was spiffy. There's stuff up there that it would be kind of nice to have. Let's aim in the correct way. Oh, how do I even do that? Oh, I want that, though. Man, I keep going the wrong way and I'm wasting time. Wasting all y'all's time. Get okay, dang it. Come back. You bum. You lava -y bum. Dang it. That's okay, they'll go away when the fire comes back up. Wait again. Give me that thing. And I should be able to make my way over here. We're gonna hit the switch. Which unlocks that door. Not a lot going on in this room. You got these little bouncy guys. I've noticed that these guys actually will always move towards you. Or at least, if not always, then they certainly seem to. Okay, can't do anything there. Good to know. And hey, we're in that other room in the upper left. Nice thing about this room... ...is that it does indeed leap outside. Which of course means all the enemies and crap are gonna respawn when I go back in. But that's where we get our piece of heart. And which means we now have every piece of heart in the game... ...except... One. Okay, so that took us out here. There is still more to do, though, because we can go down here. 
where there was another portal. You have to go through the top portal once in order to get here, but there's a key in here, which is actually sort of important. So hey, how about that? Okay, I think it's roundabout time we actually go and do something with ourselves now. That chest is nice. I want that chest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want that chest up top. I gotta get back here. Actually, it should be very easy simply to run around this way. If you recall, having looked at the map earlier, this dungeon is only two floors. We just went through floor one, and now we enter floor two. Plenty of puzzles, plenty of things to be had. You see this thing here that raises and lowers that. That guy is a little bit of a jerk, but um, I've got a solution to that problem. There are a lot of those whiz robes in this room. And every one of them that you kill make some of a platform up here. That was not even trying to be. I do believe you have to kill quite a fair number of them to get anything of importance to show up. Pretty sure I'm standing over lava, so that's gonna be great news when that eventually happens. Woo! Any more whiz robes out here? Just wanna make sure. Well, I got a key so I can go in here. Ah, that's not the ice rod. I'll aim this thing correctly sometime. Yeah, jerk. Now, using the ice rod, you can actually skip an amount of this dungeon. Just by having fun running, you know, I'm just gonna go around this way. Like, you didn't have to go in there at all, really. Because you could have just made a path along the fire out here with the ice rod. So if you're standing on that... There's one down, there's another one way out there in the middle of space. And now I'm trapped out here. That's okay, we'll just go back. Easy peasy. I think I managed to kill most of the dudes though, oh dang. Nope, there's the one that I killed completely by accident. Now, since you killed the one, you can take this platform out here. It takes you out here. Alternatively, you could have just run across the path that was raised up. But doing this, actually, let's get back. Also, I could totally go in the store because I lowered the thing. Rupees are all right. There are still two large chests in this room. You know, we've not been in either of these doors. Yeah, come at me. I walked into his jelly. Okay, that guy's gonna be fun to deal with. I'm gone! Up yours, laser guy! And then, of course, in this room, there's going to be these guys. 
Oh, you didn't let me charge up. Jerk. Um, they're on fire, by the way. You can't actually hit them with your sword. Where that happens. The Ice Rod does do damage, but not as much damage as, like, your sword, so... I'm guessing I would probably want to hit him a couple times. Okay, not a lot in there, but a checkpoint. Okay, then, having killed all the guys out here, I can raise that, because next up I need to get up top there. I still need to get to that chest. But, you know, I've not spent much in the way of time out here. Well, that was beautiful. So let's go ahead and run out this way. Get up top. I got all the keys. All the keys in the world. And with that, we can fight the dude. Fighting the dude. And that even lets us run over here. And get the Hylian Shield. This can protect you against magical attacks. I don't guard much anyway, so it doesn't really help me all that much. But hey, nice to have! I never liked the idea of the shields where, like, I couldn't really tell what I could block with them. Okay, so let's see here. What's left for us? Not a lot, actually. That's all the chests in the dungeon. We've gotten all the things. There is a door over here. With a switch, getting through there is of the utmost importance. That works somehow. Okay, so again, people said you could block these with your shield. And yeah, maybe you don't get knocked around much, but like... When they were telling me to block, block them on like... Those really thin ice platforms, even that little bit, man. I'm getting knocked right the crap off that platform. Okay, we just opened this up. Okay, gotta hit that switch. Super easy. Those are actually forever going up and down now, so you don't have to worry about hitting the switch again. You can just walk in here and go. We have the boss key, so we can go in here and fight the boss. Well, whiz robes. And down would be where the bosses fought. Our boss is a volcano. Since he's down there, you've got to hit him with your ice rod. Eh, get away! I can stop that if I can hit it with the ice rod, but I can't when you're that close to me! So the boss reveals his true form. And our boss is none other the cousin to the boss of Turtle Rock from before. Before it was Trinex, today it's Grynex. He only has the one head, and he resides forever within that rock. Oh, he's got a big ol' attack here. Oh, crap, he's doing his Gamera spin! I guarded, it did nothing. I'm not saying that's a knock on anybody, I'm just saying, I tried. Didn't work.
Heck yeah. Get in that heart container. You were like in the lava. These paintings are tough. Rescue them all, then I get to stab a guy in the face. How you doing, Rosso? I still feel like everything that goes on in that cutscene is generally pretty decent, pretty sad, really. But like, I don't know, it's also giving off an air of unsettlingness, even though it's not really unsettling. I don't know things! Until next time, everyone, there are three dungeons left to go to, and we will then see which one all of you have voted for the most.